Yo, what's going on friends? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. So today I've got a very different and very exciting video for you because today we're going to be going through a beginner home bodyweight workout and I'm joined by a very special guest. Uh, how do you, you doing like, guys? How you doing? Introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Andrew. Hop over to my channel as well. Take a look at it. It's Cali to the crowd. It's about building yourself up by learning lots of different calisthenic skills. Yeah, that's what I'm all about. Mm. And Jake, thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure, man. It's a pretty sick setup. Obviously, working out at home, you don't necessarily need to have the setup. All you really need is just somewhere to do some pull-ups, somewhere to do some rows, which obviously we'll go into uh, this workout just in a second. And also with the full workout, it will be linked in the description below with all the sets, all the reps, all the rest times, all that good stuff. So without further ado, um, let's get straight into it. Right, so before we get into the workout, of course, it is very encouraged and you really should obviously warm up beforehand. But obviously to keep this video short and sweet, I do have plenty of warm up uh, guides and tutorials on the YouTube channel already. So if you actually want to check out one of my warm up videos, I'll link a card up somewhere around here so you can actually do that first and then we get straight into the workout. Right, so first we're gonna go straight into a super set of some chin-ups and dips. Obviously we're gonna do progression of each because obviously with the actual chin-up itself, it does require quite a bit of you know, strength in the back and biceps to actually do for the repetitions that we desire in this workout. So what we're gonna do as Andrew's gonna demonstrate is actually doing band assisted chin-ups. Obviously we've got two bands here. Obviously Andrew's got one where it's actually is that one lighter or heavier? This one's lighter. So obviously in this example, Andrew's got a lighter band, which you would use to actually make it harder. Then to actually make it easier, if you actually want more assistance, you can actually use a heavier band. So the way band assisted chin-ups works is that if you actually want to make it easier, you use a heavier band, and then as you get stronger, you use a lighter band to the point where you know, you're not actually using any more assistance and you're doing the full chin-up rep. So after you've done the assisted chin-ups, we want a superset, so without any rest, of doing a dip progression. So as to what a regular dip looks like at home, you'd have some dip bars in the gym or in the park, you'd have you know some regular parallel bars like this. Obviously what a dip looks like is that we low down, about 90 degrees or just below, depending on your shoulder flexibility, and then we repeat repetitions like that. Obviously when we're starting out, we want to be able to uh, build some strength beforehand of actually doing it. So what we're going to do here is eccentric reps. So Andrew's going to lower down nice and slow with control. And then at the bottom, he's going to catch himself with his feet. He's then going to jump up into starting position. That's one full rep. So what you want to do with eccentric reps is that you want to go for a time on attention of about six to 10 seconds of each rep. That's going to help you build you know, some strength and muscle mass to progress. And once you can actually do a good like 10 seconds of a slow eccentric, then you should actually be able to do one full dip without any assistance. All right, guys, so for the next exercise, what we're gonna go into is some body rolls, and we've got Jake here to demonstrate exactly what that looks like. So we're gonna be doing these on gymnastics rings. Jake, if you wanna hop into the body mm -hmm. roll position. Obviously, a quick note as well, if you don't have gymnastic rings, that's cool. You can obviously use regular bars or mm. dip bars working out at home. So what you're looking for is this real straight body position from the shoulders to the knees, and Jake, if you go into the roll right now, what you're seeing is he's really locking out at the back, like he's holding a pencil between his shoulder blades and he's coming down slowly under control. And if you want to make that harder, you take your body position slightly closer to the ground. So what you see, Jake's taking a step forward here. He's a lot closer to the ground and he's distributing more of his weight through his arms as he rolls. Still keeping the same cues, squeezing at the top, and coming down under control. And if you want to make it really hard, you're effectively going to be doing an inverted push-up. So Jake is turning his, his body roll into almost horizontal. There, a lot more of the weight is coming up the chain closer to the shoulders, making this a far more difficult exercise. All right, so we're going to be supersetting the body rolls with push-ups. Now, push-ups are a slightly more difficult exercise anyway. So we're going to be starting it off in an inclined position slightly elevated what this does is makes the exercise a little bit more easy because half the weight is distributed from your feet as jake comes in he pushes gets his chest really close to the bar and then pushes out and he's really looking to get as much of that um as much of that weight coming through his chest as possible if he wants to make that a little bit more difficult he's going to slightly he's going to take his body closer to the ground we can do that with a standard push-up what we have here is Jake really taking his chest close to the ground. Look at that body line as well, from his shoulders straight down to his feet. When he comes down, he's coming down under control and at the top, he's pushing out with the scaps. It's really extending that shoulder out. 
Right, so last but not least, we're gonna start with the lower body, because of course we cannot forget the legs with body weight or calisthenics in general. So first of all, what we're gonna start off with is assisted pistol squats. Now, of course, if you do have rings or TRX, it's great because obviously it provides you a bit more assistance in the right places. Um, but if not, you can use something at home, like a door or something to hold on to for assistance in general, some chairs, for example. So basically, you see what Andrew's doing. It's lowering down nice and control. All the way down, arse to grass, literally, right? You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> obviously, what Andrew's doing is that the more you hold on to your assisted object, the easier it's gonna be, and to make it harder, you can use less assistance. So one thing I show a lot of clients is that if Andrew was to grip onto it less, so like if you took your thumbs off the bar and have your fingers like slipping off, basically you carry on doing that and then work out to work out, like with a back squat with a barbell, you would add more weight to make it uh, harder. Whereas this way, we keep on using less and less assistance until we're doing the full pistol squat without any assistance. Of course, if you're very new to bodyweight training in general, like me and like Andrew, right, you may actually want to start with a chair. So basically, using a chair, you're reducing the range of motion, so you're going to make it easier. And then over time, to make it more difficult, you can actually remove the chair to increase the range of motion and first actually you know, build more strength and muscle in the legs in general. Cool. We're going to be supersetting the pistol squat with a hanging knee raise. I'm going to get Jake to demo that for us. Again, if you haven't got a setup like this, you can do this on a standard door frame pull-up bar. So Jake, if you start to raise your knees, get into that active hang, and you take your knees, and you, it's like you're trying to show your bum. Take your knees as high as you can go, up to your chest, and when you come down, you really don't want to lose that anterior pelvic tilt. Keep your hips active, keep your knees in front of your body, bring your knees up to your chest, and come down under control. The, the, the more you keep your knees in front of you, the more tension you can create in the abs because you're shortening the position between where the abs insert and the abs attach. So from the top of the ribs, from the bottom of the ribs even, to the hips. And if you're struggling with hanging knee raises, that's all cool because as Andrew's demonstrating here, you can literally just do this on the floor where you're doing lying knee raises. So you'll be taking less load. So basically it'll be easy to handle that way you can actually build up your reps, build up your strength. So when these get too easy, then you can actually start doing some work on the bar to actually further strengthen your core and your abdominal muscles. Right, so that's the workout completed. Andrew, how are you feeling, man? Mate, I'm feeling good. It was uh, harder than I thought it would be. Was that from one of your programs? Uh, it wasn't exactly, but of course, with my Train With Jake at Home programs, this is where, of course, you are using just your body weight at home to build muscle, lose fat, and completely transform your physique. So of course, if you do want to learn more about in my home programs, of course they are in the link description below, or you can just go on www.jkfitness.com to learn more about them. Uh, Jake, thanks so much for having me on, man. Really, really appreciated it. This has been the first collab I've ever done on YouTube. It's great to, to meet another person who's into, into fitness as much as you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, really <laughs> grateful to be here. Thanks very much. Pleasure, man. Of course, likewise, and obviously, if you haven't checked out Andrew's channel yet, you are going to miss out on some serious gains. Um, Andrew is, you know, his YouTube channel is actually growing quite quickly and he's also like relatively new to calisthenics as well. And he's also like pretty damn good at it already. <laughs> so um, yeah, for more tips and tricks, if you want some extra gains, of course, Andrew's channel, Cali to the Crowd will be linked below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Give this workout a try. Let us know in the comment section below how you get on and uh, peace out. Yeah, that's what I'm all about. Mm. And Jake, thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure, man. And uh, obviously, pretty cool uh, me being here, where around, uh, this is when we cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do obviously with a dip is that we simply, oh shit, I put this in the way. <laughs> and then once he reaches the bottom, he's gonna catch himself. <laughs> <laughs> Controlling that eccentric, squeezing at the top and pumping, pumping. <laughs> And if you want to make that harder, you take a step forward closer to the to the rings, and you decrease your. Uh, <laughs>